So, good afternoon everyone. Uh, we're off out on another wee trip, just a one nighter this week. And this has just, uh, just officially left the, the city now. So, uh, well on our way. But it's an absolutely stunning day today. You see behind me. I'm walking up the, uh, walking up the footpath today and just doing a river crossing. It's nice and easy. As you can see, I've got uh, got my shorts and trainers on today, um, purely because I twisted my ankle, so it's uh, pretty swollen up. I can't get my hiking boots and that on. So uh, yeah, trainers and that it is. Oh, there is. Uh, I'm not going to take you on for the whole walk. We'll uh, we'll bring you back when I get there. Uh, we'll get set up, sorted. And then see what we're doing. So it's, it's probably going to be just a chilled out one um, because there's some plans to do stuff, but uh, with this ankle, I just I'm going to take it easy this week. So yeah, I'll bring his back when we get there and uh, see what we're up to. Eh? Now we're at the river. I just got across here, very low today, so shouldn't be really any trouble. And then we're going to make our way up into the woods. I kind of wish I was staying down this bit so I was in the sun because it's going to be shady in the woods but that'll be nice, it'll still be warm. So yeah, we'll get that sorted and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well everyone, that's us here. It's nice to be back in the woods. It's beautiful down here now. As you can see, camp's how I left it last time, so nobody's been here. Even the, it's only a wee bit of wood that was left, but even that's left there. And uh, yeah, some of you guys will see I'm, I'm sporting a new pack now. So I've got rid of the other one, it was, um, it was a good big pack. But the straps and stuff weren't adequate for the weight that you can put in it for the size of it, I don't think. So, I went for the Caramore SF Predator. It is a big pack, 80 to 130. But, I don't need my side pockets necessarily on now. My side pouches, so I've got everything in there, including food, sleep system, everything. Camera gear. Um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty nice, like. It's comfy on the way up. Couple of couple of hangies need to make a few adjustments yet, but um, once I do, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a comfy pack. So yeah, I'm going to get it set up now and uh, get camp a wee bit a wee bit squared away. Look at that canopy, lovely today. So this is all set up, hammock, tarp, I was wondering whether or not even bother with the tarp today because it's not going to rain but I don't want to chance it. So i just got camp set up, been gathering some wood, there's a bit there, I'm going to get more once I've got a bed of coals I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to cook some lunch and then just keep a wee fire smouldering away, I'll build that up tonight. So that's about oh, that's about where I am. Let me just let me just sit you down in there for a little bit while I'm sorting out this fire.
put you around it processing some wood. Some other bigger stuff over there I'll do for. Easier of a bit, so I'm like. It's not really big stuff, this is. Medium. I spent half my life sorting wood. Doesn't take long in here though, to the woods. <sighs> Lots of stuff kicking about. Anyway, I'm going to continue with this and uh, grab something to eat, man. I'm starving now. I'm just going to have some rolls, like nothing special. Hey anyway guys, uh, I'm back. It's dark now. Um, I went earlier on, I was feeling really tired. I was working last night till like f five in the morning. And then I had an appointment in town. So by the time I got to sleep in that, I had about maybe an hour, hour and a half sleep. Um, and then I, I basically came straight out here. So I was really tired. I thought, I'm gonna lie in my hammock for a little minute and uh, just chillax. And yeah, I woke up at like back of six, I think it was. So, no, it was later than that. I woke up and it was, no, I woke up and it was dark. Well, getting dark anyway, not as dark as this. But um, yeah, so I'm probably going to be up all night now. <laughs> but I thought I'd bring you back. Um, I'm going to, I've got the fire going again. Because it did go completely out. I'm only using small stuff. I haven't put any like big, big stuff on it yet. I'm saving that for later. So I've got a nice little fire going. Plenty for tonight. It's not cold. It's more for cooking than anything, really. And uh, drying my shoes out. I suppose that doesn't really matter because I'm going to use them in the. I'm going to use them in the river tomorrow. I'll try them out a wee bit. I think the temperature's dipped down enough just to get rid of, we had a lot of wasps. I know wasps still, they still come out at night. Because we got the, you know, the, um, the little sort of camp area that we've got here. Um, it's all made out obviously of wood. So it's up off the ground, it's dry, rotten wood. So, you're sitting here and all you can hear is you look around it's wasps sitting munching the wood not, they don't really bother you right now because they're, they're just focused on building the nest but there was one wasp kept on buzzing me straight past my face every single time going to the same log so I've called him Maverick anyone that watches Top Gun will get that Maverick the wasp so um yeah, I think the temperature dropped just enough. I've, I've not heard any about, I've not seen any about. Because I was worried about it sometimes when you get the headlamps on. 
if the wasp is out, it attracts them, you end up getting them buzzing around your face, which is kind of annoying. But I'm going to bring you guys back. I'm just, I've got the fire going, I'm just getting a nice bed of coals there. I'm going to, um, I'm going to get cooking in a little bit. I've got some nice food, I've got some like, uh, minted lamb, minted lamb leg steaks. And some nice green beans. Because I missed my greens last time I was out. I've got my potatoes. But I uh, need some greens with it. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll bring you back. Sort of as and when. As and when I'm doing something. Made myself a wee coffee. Maybe I shouldn't drink coffee. Because <laughs> I'm not going to sleep tonight now. Probably gonna be awake all night. Yeah, it's a beautiful night. There's next to no wind. I reckon the temperature's lower than what it says on the uh, weather report. I don't think it's quite 12 degrees just now. I think it's more about eight or something, but it's not cold. And I've got my I remembered my hammock blanket, my under quilt this week. So I won't be waking up freezing, <laughs> which is always a bonus. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here, chill out by the fire for a little bit. I'll maybe do, uh... well, I've got a cigarette there. I don't really want to smoke. I don't advocate smoking. One of the stupidest things I've ever done. But I am going to advocate drinking responsibly when you are of age no other time but this uh i've got this cool little beer here I took a couple of beers out with me i don't know if you can see that it's a off tempo milkshake quite strong as well for, for a beer it's reasonable 5.8 i love the can it's got a real textured feel it's not a i think it's like a matte Kind of, I don't know, bumpy feel. It's weird. So we're going to have that. I'd love to know what an off-tempo... What is it? Off-tempo milkshake. Beer slash lager, whatever it's going to taste like. It smells very fruity. It does smell nice. Lincoln Brewery, this is from, this is from Bad Company, Bad Co, Bad Company, they make quite a few beers, the Boston Tea Party, things like that, which are actually quite nice, so let's see what this is like, oh, pardon me, that's ah, not bad, it's like a, Definitely get a pineapple on it. It's like a pina colada, pina colada beer, I suppose. Instead of saying an off something milkshake, that would be like a yeah, it'd be like a pina colada thing, I think. But beer, ooh. No, oh, it's very nice. Very drinkable. Oh yeah, nothing really more to report. I'm just chilling out. I haven't actually done uh, I haven't actually done that much filming today. A lot of that I think because I was tired. I was just absolutely knackered. I went for a little rest because everything I was doing, just processing wood, everything was knackering me. But um I'm awake now. <laughs> At like one o'clock in the morning. Ooh. Now I'm properly awake, I've got my second wind. As I can almost guarantee that it'll be uh, it'll be getting light before I uh, before I fall asleep, probably. So we'll see, I might just chill by the fire, have something to eat, chill by the fire. I might just I might just stay up to first light. I might head home, you know, good and sharp tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe try and get a couple hours there. 
The only problem being is I sleep better out here in my hammock than I do in my house. I swear I get a better night's sleep out here than I do, than I ever do in my house. I don't know if any of you guys feel the same when you're out. I don't know if it's the fresh air or the just being out or when you're, you know, when you're, by the time you walk out somewhere, you collect firewood, you get everything going, maybe that knackers you enough that you just, you just need a sleep, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I'd quite like to know that. So if, if anyone wants to leave something down in the comments and actually, actually tell me, do they agree? Do they get a bit of sleep when they're outside or, or not? That would be quite interesting to me. Oh dear. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> my trainers are a wee bit melty. These aren't my good trainers though. These are just, uh, oh wow. Wow, they are knackered now. Okay. Funnily enough, that one's okay. No, well, it doesn't matter. They're just old shoes with holes in them for the river. I can chuck them away, it doesn't matter. Just something to protect my feet going over that river, because... Rocks aren't particularly sharp, but it does it does still hurt. Especially when you stand on a rock with barefoot. I've done it last year, and you, you slip off it and then stub your toe off the immediate next rock. Oh my god. No, that's not good. Not good at all. Still hanging about that tarp. I did put it up and it's nice, it's in a diamond, it's quite high and stuff, you've got plenty of visibility, but it's gonna be a clear night and stuff tonight and I'm sure there's not gonna be any rain. I really, uh, it's that British part of me though, you can never, like don't ever not expect rain, just expect rain and if you don't get any, bonus. not so much for actually waking up wet, I mean by the time I get to sleep tonight or whatever, if I wake up wet it doesn't really matter, but um, you know I've got filming gear and cameras and things like that there, I don't want, don't want that to get wrecked. <laughs> yeah I'm just, just sitting here, the woods have been actually quite quiet so far. Usually there'd be owls out and... Well, I've not heard them yet. Maybe later on I will. We'll see. Kinda wish I wasn't going back to work tomorrow. I'd like to stay tomorrow as well. Only got one day this week. One day's not enough. I like two days. Because as I say, like when I come out, if I'm tired, okay, that's fine. But I can get a good sleep and then the next day I can get... You know, I can get a good bit of filming done. I wanted to do things with the bloody ankle as well, so... You guys are more along, this is more like a, I don't know, I suppose a vlog sort of thing. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable talking to the camera now. Sometimes it's just nice to, to get out. There have been a couple of times I've been out, not filmed. You know, just do ones for me, but... I'm going to chillax here for a little bit more and I'll uh, bring you back when I'm doing some cooking or something, yeah? Okay guys, so it is definitely cooking time. So, these are new potatoes, they're going to go on first. Bad boys ready. Definitely enough. I've chucked a couple of potatoes out here because I'm quite interested to know if they'll germinate and grow. That would be awesome. <coughs> I probably should have dug a couple of holes and actually buried them up there because I reckon they'd grow. I strongly think they'd grow. I think have some patatos in the woods without having to carry them up. 
So I've got, hang on, I've got plenty of water here. If I need to, I've got my, uh, I've got my catadin water filter. I can dump down to the river the more if I, for some, so, let's set that. Oh, yeah. So, potatoes is on. So, as usual. I will As usual I will remove that and this will be my dirty water bottle for the morrow. Then I'm oh, gonna get some more water in here. I'll put this on last minute because this ain't gonna take long. This is just for beans. You don't want to over. Oh, Jesus Christ. You don't want to overcook beans or any greens, broccoli, blah blah, anything like that. Do is I'm not going to put this on the fire yet, but yeah, I'm going to sit it on the rocks next to the fire so it can just start warming, take the chill off it. Take the chill off that. Yes, there is this as if bacon wasn't enough because bacon's awesome. We've got some uh, minted leg steak. There's a couple of ones in there. So I'm not going to put that on just yet because, again, lamb steak. Um, I don't like it too well done. You know, lamb or beef or anything. Things like pork, chicken. You know, chicken's important to do. It could contain salmonella. Most of it in Britain does. In fact, contain salmonella. In some capacity. Um, and then pork. The bad thing about pork is, pork can actually contain a lot, or does contain a lot of parasites. Like ringworms and various other things, believe it or not, but... It's always good to cook pork, game meat, you know, duck, pigeon, venison, anything like that you can treat as beef, you know, you can have that basically raw if you want, but at least, you know, pan seared and then, uh, uh, what do you call it, you know, really rare, put that on there. It up and then I'll just keep it on the rocks to the side. Got a nice bed of coals there, nice bed of coals going on. Well, that should be fine for uh, cooking my lamb. I'll bring you back once the lamb's on and once I'm a wee bit further in the cooking process. Um, but again, I'll give you a little view like my view. I've got the light on the phone on. That's just a wee light I have in my hammock. That's like a, a, a one, pound, one, one pound light bulb looking light that I hang in my my uh, hammock. It's actually really handy, man. It's a bit gimmicky, but it's really handy. Uh, hammock set up. And um, back to the food. There you go guys, lamb's on, potatoes are on, water's on for the beans. Got a nice hot bed of coals there, I've just got some some wood burning on the side there. Uh, 
Later on, once I finish that, bring the fire back and I've got, just feel the weight of that wood, I've got some really good Mrs. Oak. So, there's a few oak trees here. And I'm no expert, but what they seem to do is, if you look at them, they, uh, they definitely shed branches. And you can see the branch is dead. I think they do it. I don't think it's like in a fungal infection or anything, because the rest of the tree is fine. Uh, but you can see the part, like all the bark's gone from the limb. So it's this kind of old, gnarled sort of wood. And uh, you can see on the, the tree, I'm going to show you tomorrow when it's light. You can see on the tree where it's like, it's sort of cutting it off and healing it itself, ready to drop the branch. But um, you get a bit of that stuff. You know, if you want to keep a fire in for the night, you know, until the next day and just restart it from coals, that is the best stuff. There, there is nothing. Um, There's nothing that's going to cook like oak. A few other trees, I suppose. It's quite hard woods. Uh, I'm no expert, but... I mean, I, I suppose I'd call them medium medium hard. But, uh Beech burns, burns pretty well. Hazel burns pretty well. Um, the likes of the pines and other stuff that burn quick. You saw in my last camp video, I had three big logs on that fire. They were about eight to ten inches across. Put three of them on the fire when I went to bed to keep the fire in. And they were they were dust in the morning. There were nothing left of them. Those pies dots are good for cooking on, but once you've cooked to that, you just want a fire. It burns quite bright, quite good for light. Burns easily, and obviously if you get it, other woods wet like the little pine twigs and everything that's up there for starting a fire like kindling is no problem here it works brilliant or you make feather sticks or whatever from it I think uh, you can actually see in the distance there it's already actually starting to get light outside the woods The sun's not coming up yet, but the sky's lighter through the trees there, where the sun will be rising. So yeah, I'm either going to have no sleep tonight, or I'm going to drift off just for a little bit, get an hour or two power nap. I'll get home nice and early tomorrow, I'll get time to edit this video, upload it, before I go to work. Get showered, get everything unpacked. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'll, give them, I'll bring you guys back when, uh, when this is basically cooked. I'll show you the finished article. Oh, I've even got I've even got butter with me for my potatoes. I missed that last time. You need a bit of butter and potatoes, but. Yeah, I'll bring you guys back um, as and when this is ready now. It's not too far off. And we'll see what the finished thing looks like. I'm looking forward to the slam so much. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've got that off. I've just built the fire up like that thingy there. And whoop. And there is my lamb. Minted lamb, green beans, new potatoes. Got a bit of butter on it. I just mixed it all together, it's just easy. So I am going to um eat this now. I'll spare you the eating, but uh yeah, this is gonna be a good dinner man. I say dinner, it's about three half three in the morning. <laughs> this is almost breakfast. <laughs> but yeah, you don't have to eat just the 
burnt sausages or freeze dry, that freeze dry stuff when you come out camp. A little bit more weight, but it's worth it. Totally worth it. So guys, I'm gonna get maybe an hour or something. Cut. I don't even know if I'll properly fall asleep because uh, that's basically done now. It's like. Quarter past four in the morning. So I don't know if I'll even get to sleep, but yeah, I might do. Because I fell asleep earlier. I've been up all night. But uh yeah, we'll see. Hopefully I can't that an hour or two. Get up, get back to it, still be plenty early. For getting home. Just left the fire on there. Lovely fire, I love it when you've got some oak to burn. Just burns constant like that, just gives a beautiful fire. And uh should be left with some well I will be left with some embers if I'm up in an hour or two, I definitely will be left with embers. So I'll bid you guys good night and uh see you in a couple of hours. Morning everyone. So that's me, I've been up for, well, not that long. Got my coffee on the go. Gonna get packed away early and head off. Um, pretty sharpish today, I think. Didn't have that much that I fell asleep for about an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. But it's another lovely day. Bit of sun poking through now. I think it's gonna be as sunny as yesterday right enough, but it's still meant to be warm, at least. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get packed away, get everyone sorted, and uh, head down for the river crossing, in which I'm presuming will be freezing cold. I don't think I'm going to bother with breakfast because I ate that late last night. I'm still, hung um, still hungry, I'm still full now. Don't need anything else to eat now. Grab something later. I just wish I had today out as well. And the fishing rod. But that'll just have to be for another time. So, there we go guys, all packed up. Ready to go. Not forgot anything. Fire's good and out been out for a while now. Um, everything's tidy in camp. Let's leave the reflector down. I took it down tonight so you can see the fire. So yeah. All tidy. Got a bit of wood there. I'll leave a wee bit there. But um, yeah. It's time to make tracks, get home, and go to work. Yay! Okay, guys, see you in a bit. So, guys, that's me on my way home now. Done the river crossing and stuff, and uh, just heading down. Another beautiful day. It's not as cloudy as they said it was going to be. Made out it was going to be busier, but uh, busier, cloudier. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. I uh, didn't get so much filming done on that one. As I say, my ankle's a bit... And uh, some of the stuff I wanted to do, I had to kind of put on the back burner. But uh, as usual, you know, if you liked it, share, subscribe, like. Uh, I do appreciate any comments you have. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye now.